Virgo, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we've got a second half of February 2021 reading for you. No particular subject, we'll take an issue, something you're aware of, something you're not aware of, recent past, immediate future, and potential outcome. We'll clarify and get a message out there. It's not going to resonate for every single Virgo, so do check out your replacements, your sun, your, your sun, your sun moon, rising, Venus, uh, any stellium you have in your chart. For further messages. Um, once again, thank you for the likes, shares, subscribes, comments. It uh, continues the growth of the channel. It's much appreciated. And um, if you want to delve into your own situation deeper, description box has all the details of private read. Okay, there we go. Two more. What do we got? Beautiful. Ten of Cups. Happiness. Piece card in the deck, that's what we want. Something you're aware of, well, something you're not aware of. Interesting. Recent past, immediate future, and potential outcome. The Five of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. Okay, there's definitely a need to protect your energy here from outside sources. I don't even know how better to put that. you got a lot of things coming in for you. There's a lot of good things coming. Um, but there's a, there's a need to protect your energies. I almost want you to... Uh, when you start your day, imagine putting yourself an armour on, that type of thing. So the current energy is the Ten of Cups. This is happiness, this is family. What you're aware of is the Empress. So this is you stepping into Empress mode. Don't get caught up in genders, we all have masculine and feminine energies. Um, but your divine feminine aspect is, is on point. You know, you're balancing that out nicely. What you're not aware of is the Fool. So there's brand new beginnings, there's a new start coming. Um, incidentally, I, I will say, I don't think this is for all of you, um, however, the Empress and the Fool does indicate to me an unplanned pregnancy, and when that's wedged between a family, there could be an unplanned pregnancy coming. Not necessarily unplanned, unexpected, should I say. Recent past is temperance. So, you brought balance. You balanced out whatever aspects in your life that needed balancing. And you needed to do that before you could step into Empress mode. So, you know, we all have a shadow side, there's no two is about it. But you've managed to bring this into balance, which is good. The immediate future is King of Pentacles. This could be a person coming in, but I kind of feel like this is you just being comfortable. Comfortable financially. Being in a position where you're not worried. And the outcome is a seven of wands. If finances massively improve, you might find a lot of energies come in to beg, borrow, steal type of thing. So just be careful there. Could be family members with the ten of cups here. So just be just be aware of that. If you know, if all of a sudden the money improves, the world has just jumped. So it was um, upside down there. So you've definitely completed cycles, I think. There's a new beginning around the corner for you. You might not see it yet. But you've stepped into your Empress mode, and the Empress is full of abundance, and she's open to receive. Wow. 
Okay, the Page of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, you've got to be careful of all these energies that are going to come towards you now that you're stepping into your power. Um, Virgo, this is incredible. You are very powerful. The Ten of Cups is with the Magician. You have all the tools to bring any sort of happiness that you desire. You're a powerful manifester. You've, you can manipulate energies. You... You actually have my favourite combination uh, in this spread. What you're aware of is the Empress with the Three of Wands. That is my favourite combination. This is you getting everything, everything you desire. Awesome. What you're not aware of is the Fool with the Ace of Swords. When the Ace of Swords clarifies for me, it's just spirit backing me up saying I was right the first time. So for some of you, there is a, an unexpected pregnancy. However, this for the majority of you is this brand new star that's around the corner that you just possibly don't even see yet. The recent past is temperance with the Eight of Cups. Um, for me, you've been guided along a path here. You've gone in search of some sort of truth. Balance. D divinely guided, I would say. Whoever I'm talking to here is, is certainly on a, uh, a path that's... Um, You've got the backing of the angels, but aren't we? The immediate future is the king of pentacles with the sun card. This is you, financially stable and happy. Happy, happy, happy. Right next to each other we've got the ten of cups and the sun. Need I say more? But, it's always a but. The seven of wands is with the page of cups. I, again, I kind of feel like you just need to defend your energy here for people that, come, that are wanting their cup filled by you. So just be careful of um, <sighs> people that want your energy that probably don't really deserve your energy. Okay, Virgo, this looks incredible. Just you know, picking, just be careful who you give your energy to. It's probably the easiest way of saying that. But everything else is looking on point. I mean, like the Empress with the Three of Wands. It's incredible. You're getting it all. You're getting the stability. You're getting the happiness. You've got all the tools necessary to get there. Incredible. Okay. So you could be dealing or having your chart. Gemini, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, possibly, Leo, uh, Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius. But we've got cups, we've got wands, we've got pentacles, and we've got swords. Everybody's here, but those are your standouts. So yeah, best of luck, um, Virgo. Do watch your energy. Um, you know, people are seeing how abundant you're becoming, and they want their cup filling. So just be careful. Okay, let me know if it resonates. Thank you for following the channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye.